Today we have a very special guest on a very special mission. We have Dr. Joyce Roberts, a candidate for the elected board in St. Louis, today on The Bernie Hayes Show. Welcome back. My guest is a very, very dear friend, very personal friend, whom I've known for many, many years, Dr. Joyce Roberts. Dr. Roberts, welcome back to the Bernie Hayes Show. Good morning, Bernie, and I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for allowing me to come in. How long has it been since you appeared on the program here? I believe it's been well over five or six years really? since yeah. the last time I was here, maybe even longer than yeah, that. Yeah, because we were downtown at the 1411 Locust Street last exactly, time we were here. Exactly, exactly. But uh, I've been knowing you for so many years, and uh, um, Dr. Joyce Roberts, lay out your credentials for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bernie, I started uh, getting my credentialing at Harris Teachers College. That It was Harris Teachers College at the time. I have a BA in uh, education. I have a master's in administration. I have an EDS that's in leadership and a doctor of education in leadership and policy. Gee whiz, and, and you've been uh, you've been a teacher, you've been a principal, you've been an administrator. Tell us a little bit about that, that the history too. Well, I did start as a classroom teacher when um, at Pierre Laclede Elementary. It was K to eight at that time, and I was relocated to Melanthi, where I taught reading, and then I uh, came back to the north side to Williams Middle School as a part of a special program called School of Emphasis. Right. All black schools got a little extra funding, and so we decided to be innovative. And in doing that, we created an aviation aerospace emphasis and challenged the St. Louis Public Schools around allowing us to fly in airplanes, which was really restricted. You couldn't sure. swim, you couldn't fly, and I things remember that of that nature. I remember that was very, very innovative and also uh, an extensive program that, uh, that you created, more or less, and, and, and Well, authorized. a team of a yeah. team of us created. But, uh, you were you were head of the team. <laughs> you head of the team. Go ahead. I didn't uh, mean to interrupt you. Oh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But the beauty of it was allowing our young people to leave their neighborhoods, yeah. get on an airplane, and one of the trips that was most special to me was the one that we took to the Johnson Space Center, okay. where they were allowed to watch uh, what takes place to put the um, the spaceship in in orbit, and then mm -hmm. to come back to Williams Middle and replicate that was wow. just a fascinating, it was just a fascinating piece of how you can expand instruction beyond the classroom. Was the, the Johnson Space Center, where, where was it located? It was in Florida. Oh, we went wow. all the way That's to Florida. So we went great. to California. They had an aviation uh, facility there. And our direct partner was McDonnell Douglas. My goodness. So, um, then you went back to Laclede, right? <laughs> I did. Before I came back to Laclede, yeah. I was a preschool teacher. Yeah. I was an instructional coordinator in preschool. I came back to Laclede yeah. as an instructional coordinator, assistant principal. Mm -hmm. I left um, Laclede and went to Harrison Elementary in, in North St. Louis. Okay. Uh, the building was 100 years old, but we made it uh, a home for the young people. And then I was asked to come back to Williams Middle as, as the principal. And you did some work in the county. I did. I did. <laughs> After I transitioned uh, uh, out of St. Louis Public Schools, I was asked to join um, the Wellston School District. Mm -hmm. It had been closed by the state, and it was reopening. And so I did all the leg work, the ground work, the hiring, the books and all of those things that were necessary to get the school uh, up and running. And I stayed there a couple of years before being recruited to uh, the Normandy School District. And I also did some work with Ethel Hedgeman Lyle. <laughs> they, um, they learned that they needed to be in charge of their own school, and they decided to break ties with the Imagine Management Company, mm -hmm. who um, really made it very challenging them for them to recover control of their school. They didn't own the books. They didn't even own the toilet paper. Wow. Imagine refused to release student records. And so it was very, very challenging. 
And so as we, we know, Imagine was finally uh, closed sure. in St. Louis and those students returned to St. Louis Public Schools. Okay. You've had an extensive background. I have a lot of experience. And I know it's all dedicated to saving children. Absolutely. <laughs> if we don't, who, who will? Mm -hmm. And I was built uh, to educate young people. Mm -hmm. So now you're running, it says, vote Joyce M. Roberts, candidate, St. Louis Public Schools elected board. And I am committed to student achievement, accountability, transparency, community engagement, SEMA school district. Uh, could we go to one of those points, each, each, each point, student achievement? Well, first. it's important that we focus on student achievement, and I'd like to uh, encouch that in three, in three pillars. Mm -hmm. First, we have to get school kids to school on time and committed to coming on time sure. and engage the parents around that. And once we get them there, then we can absolutely focus on student achievement. And I believe all children have the capacity to learn. Okay. And one of the uh, mantras that I used uh, was, uh, think you can, work hard, you can get smart. <laughs> and the young people absolutely uh, believed in that. And the last piece is we have to focus on our, our young people's attitudes mm -hmm. so that they know the value of education and that it is a gatekeeper to whatever else they want to do in their lives, be that being an entrepreneur, they may want to become a teacher, a radio announcer, they may even want to become the President of the United States. And so education is a gatekeeper and we have to impress upon them its value. Okay. Second bullet point was accountability. Well, accountability starts with me. Mm -hmm. if, uh, I'm accountable for doing the best possible job that I can do. And for those people who I supervise, I am holding them uh, accountable as well. Mm -hmm. And as a member of the elected school board, I have one employee. The elected school board will have one employee, and mm -hmm. that will be the superintendent, wow. who will be held accountable for ensuring that uh, St. Louis Public Schools becomes the school district of choice. How about transparency? Well, it's, it's, it's very important that there are no secrets. And one of the things that I employed as I worked in various districts was transparency. I engaged the teachers around budget. I was responsible for building a zero budget wow. from scratch. Gee. And so I included my parents and teachers. And when there's ownership, anything is possible. And it begins with being transparent. Mm -hmm. Community engagement and SEMA school district. Yeah, community engagement. We were very successful uh, primarily everywhere I've been because I've always drawn from the community in terms of supplementing what I didn't get from the district. Okay. And I'll give you an example. At LeCleve, I always petitioned for technology. Magnet schools had it, and so I, I wanted to be able to advocate for technology for my young people. And the response was, well, you guys are already doing well. You'll get it, but you, you, you're kind of down on the list. And so I couldn't live with that. And so I petitioned uh, the community. As a matter of fact, if you remember, the record center was on Goodfellow and Natural Bridge. Yes, yes. And when they were leaving that location, they were giving away their computers. Wow. And so uh, we decided to take 50. Now, we didn't know what we were going to do with it. <laughs> but when you have a successful program, help walks in the door. And I call that my angels. That's they beautiful. just walk in the door. And a group of, of um, church members came in and their their skill was around technology. So they rebuilt those computers and we were able to offer uh, computer training for our young people. That's beautiful. So much I want to ask you about and uh, you've done so many things and, and you have the vision to do so much more and the desire to do so much more. We'll talk about uh, your candidacy for the St. Louis Public Schools elected board. In the meantime, uh, Dr. Joyce Roberts, longtime friend, when she came into the studio today, she noticed the mug, uh, the Bernie Hayes Show mug, and without me saying a word, she says, I must have one. And uh, I'm very, very proud to say that, uh, Dr. Joyce Roberts, you will have one. <laughs> but uh, there, there's a way to get it, and uh, not only that, but a companion book written by Dr. Reverend Larry Rice also. And uh, I think uh, we'll let Reverend Rice tell you how to do it. For many years, Bernie Hayes has been on the front lines leading the charge for social justice. It's been a great privilege of mine to get to know Bernie personally 
And I want us in celebration of all that Bernie has done to share with you in one of these very special Bernie Hayes mugs and a copy of a book, Through the Fires, which tells you about the battle for social justice at 1411 Locust, where gentrifiers came into the neighborhood and literally shut down the church at the New Life Evangelistic Center at 1411 Locust Street because they didn't want those kind of people in the neighborhood. Direct bigotry. Now, if you'll request this mug and share a gift of $25 or more, we'll send you this book, 328 pages that go into great detail on all the manipulating behind the scenes and on the scenes that took place in order for the city of St. Louis to consider it a nuisance because they were hurting and homeless people in the neighborhood. We would love to see a beloved community that when development takes place in a community instead of the poor and the elderly and the homeless being pushed out, it's a beloved community that welcomes people from all over, regardless of their racial background or the, who they might be. They're people made in the image of God. Bernie Hayes has fought for that for years. And now we're teaming up with Bernie in a very special and powerful way. If you'll just call in R421302, or you can send your special gift and just say, please send me the Bernie Hayes mug. We will include in that through the fire historical book that I've written on how the St. Louis gentrifiers tried to destroy a church because of its homeless congregation. You know, it's, there's a common saying that if your neighbor's house on fire, yours in danger also. The bigotry, the hypocrisy in the city of St. Louis affects all of us. I thank God for Bernie who has continued to, to point it out and root it out. Now we're teaming up with Bernie. When you request the Bernie Hayes mug and share a gift of $25 or more to New Life Evangelistic Center, I'll include my book, Through the Fire. We'd love to hear from you. Share now, P.O. Box 473, St. Louis, Missouri. And welcome back. And Dr. Joyce Roberts is my guest. And uh, she's a candidate for the St. Louis Public Schools elected school board. And uh, Dr. Roberts, Bob Demler asked uh, your good friend, Donna Jones, uh, the same uh, work question. Why do you want to be on the elected school board, since the school board, the the other board is, is actually running the school board, the school okay. district right now. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. you, you're talking mm -hmm. about the special administrative special board administrative is board. in control. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I attended several of the community engagement mm -hmm. meetings that the state held uh, concerning the transfer of governance from the SAB to the elected school board, and the community was loud and very clear and focused that they had worked very hard with the superintendent and the uh, special administrative board to, um, to reach a credit, full accreditation. Mm -hmm. And um, they understood that once they reached full accreditation, that the governance would come back to the elected board. And since I am experienced mm -hmm. and I know what school looks like, feels like, sounds like, and I know how to engage uh, not only students and teachers, parents and community around uh, uplifting schools and boys and girls. I want to share what I know, my experience with the other members of uh, the elected school board. I know the kinds of questions to ask. I've been a part of uh, the district from the top to the bottom. I, I have a clear understanding of what governance means and it's, it's important to know uh, what kinds of questions to ask and how to uh, weed through the double speak that you sometimes hear from uh, people in leadership yeah. and bring that um, to the elected school board. Okay. Do you have a phone number, contact number, website, email? Oh, how can we reach you? Oh, absolutely. I do have a website. It's www. Joyce M. Roberts. It's www. Dot, right? Yes. www. Dot yes. Joyce. Thank M. you. We okay. can't get that wrong. <laughs> Let me begin again. Okay. It's www. Joyce M. is the website. Okay. My direct contact number is 314-974-8090. And I'm also inviting uh, the viewing and listening public. Mm -hmm to join me on uh, October the 5th for a fundraiser mixer at The Element, located at 1419 Carroll Street. It will begin at 5 p.m. and last to 8 p.m. It's a donation fundraiser, so please come prepared. Okay, that's and October the 5th. 
October the 5th, and it's being sponsored by Global 1000. Okay. Um, there's so much more I want to ask you. Um, you, your credentials that you laid out to us earlier, all this wonderful experience, you, you certainly could have retired years ago had you wanted to. Why do you want to continue this journey in public service? Bernie, I'm, I'm doing the work I love. I, I absolutely love it. I was told by my mother before she transitioned that you have a lot of gifts that you need to share and don't bury them. And I heard that again just recently from a, a colleague, a teacher, who, who said the same thing. And so I'm energized, and I hope the community is energized and focused around ensuring that the uh, elected school board is in uh, return to governance. Wonderful. Okay, this is great. Uh, tell us um, what your vision is for governance. When, and you expect, I assume, to, for the elected board to run the public schools again, what's your first item? Well, what's your first thing you want to do to, to transition that special elected board to the public board? I want, okay, mm -hmm. I want to convey to the public that we are honorable and trustworthy and that our primary job is student achievement and holding the uh, superintendent of schools responsible for executing the instructional program and holding the people who work for him accountable as well to ensure that St. Louis Public Schools is restored to being a, a school district of choice. Oh, wonderful. This is great. Anything you want to talk about that I haven't asked you about? I'm just excited that I have received so much uh, community support and if you follow me on Facebook you will see that I highlight my angels because they show up every day. It's unexpected but it's uplift uplifting and exciting and so I'd like to close by asking uh, everyone across this great region to be sure that you are registered to vote to show up at the polls on Tuesday, November the 6th, to vote for Joyce M. Roberts, the right choice. This is not, we're not closing. We still have some time left on the oh, show. Oh, <laughs> we do. Okay. Oh, yes, we do. But I wanted uh, to be sure to get that in. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, all over the years, uh, you've been also a very dear friend to my wife, Yubi Hayes, and uh, you, you, you support her and all and everything that she does. And, you were at the video parties and everything, and, and you've been, you support me and the wing fling at the Harris Social University. It's just been just a pleasure just knowing you for so many years and seeing all the things that you do. And this is why I was wondering why you, 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 you keep you putting yourself out there. You never hold back. You're always on the front line, and you're always working for, for not only for yourself, but for others. And now, where does that, that, that drive come from? Is it faith or what? It is faith, it's a belief in a vision of impossible, and I watched my mother make a way out of no way, and so I honor her to keep uh, moving forward. I believe we should be a blessing to somebody, and uh, this is my small way of giving back. Tell us um, what made you choose the field of education? Was that preordained also? <laughs> I have to say that mm -hmm. there, the power greater than myself had this all mapped out. Mm -hmm. I could not have written this story by myself. And I started playing school as a way to entertain myself and my sisters and brothers mm -hmm. as far back as, as maybe five. Okay. And so I've been on this path to um, education for my entire life. You feel comfortable talking about how you grew up and where you grew up in the area? Oh, I'm, I'm very comfortable. Tell us and about it. so I am, my mother was a single mother. Mm -hmm. um, there were eight of us all together. And so I mentioned on the Facebook that she worked three jobs. And mm -hmm. one of the things that she said in the quote that I use, what my mama said <laughs> is, I bet not have to come to that school because you know I work three jobs. <laughs> I'm in charge. And so I respected her hard work for little money. Mm -hmm. I remember that um, maybe she made $25 a week, and so um, that's a struggle. And so I am at a place where I'm going to help everyone become their, their best self, 
and hope that they understand that they need to let go of the crutches that they hold on to and stand tall and meet the day uh, um, with faith, with hope, and, and, and work hard. You know, the last time we were together, you were at the New Life Evangelistic Center, 1411 Locust Street downtown. And uh, you've always supported the New Life Evangelistic Center also. And so I wanted to give you those, those kudos, those props, because you've always uh, supported Reverend Larry Rice. You've always supported the New Life Evangelistic Center. And uh, now it's time for us to support you. Once again, uh, the ballot itself. You, where are you located on the ballot? Do you know? Thank you for asking mm -hmm. that. It's mm -hmm. going to be a very long ballot, everybody. Mm -hmm. And so I want you to pay close attention to the elected school board. I'm number two on the ballot, Joyce M. Roberts. Okay. That's uh, no, no, November the 6th, right? That is November the 6th. It's mm -hmm. a citywide vote. If you were unaware that it's a citywide vote, now you know that it's going to take everyone across the city to ensure that uh, Joyce M. Roberts becomes a member of the elected school board. That's great. Dr. Joyce M. Roberts is our guest today. And we're at the New Life Evangelistic Center, the new New Life Evangelistic Center. And the new is very, very character. It's uh, very key to, to what we say because it's New Life and our new location, 2428 Woodson Road in Overland, Missouri. But the same services that were provided downtown at 1411 Locust Street and I'll provide it here at New Life. And uh, so they still provide shelter, clothing, food, still paying bills, still providing services that uh, were needed to the public. But uh, the time issue is of essence because money is running out. And to provide these services, we need your help and support. And you may help us with a tax deductible donation through Post Office Box 473, St. Louis, Missouri. 63166 or online at that's one word, newlifeevangelisticcenter.org. American Express, Visa, MasterCard, Discover Card takes less than two minutes to make a well-needed investment in new life. Back with Dr. Joyce Roberts after this. Now you can take NLEC TV anywhere as you put the NLEC TV app on your iPhone or mobile device. NLEC TV is an innovative TV station that's on the cutting edge of community service. When you tune in to NLEC TV, you'll discover a television station that has been operated by previously homeless individuals who've received broadcast training through New Life Evangelistic Center's unique on-the-job training program. On NLEC TV, you'll discover wholesome family, community, renewable energy, and inspirational programming. Those needing energy assistance, food, clothing, or freedom from the cycle of homelessness will find that plus much more on NLEC TV. Now, you can receive NLEC TV by going to 24.2 on your television set or putting the NLEC TV app on your iPhone or mobile device. For further information, call 314-436-2424 or go to NLECSTL.org. That's NLECSTL.org. <laughs> We'll return to our guests after this civil rights moment. Today's subject, Harry T. Moore, an educator, civil rights activist who helped establish an NAACP chapter in Brevard County, Florida. Recognized for single-handedly increasing the number of NAACP chapters in Florida for helping thousands of African Americans register to vote in the 1940s. His activism predated the traditional civil rights movement and he is ahead of his time in pushing for social justices and voting rights. He was especially interested in addressing unequal salaries and segregated schools. He was born November the 18th in 1905 in Houston, Florida, in Suwannee County, Stephen Joseph and Rosella Alberta Moore. He continued working toward legal and political justice after the case of the state coordinated branches in NAACP. Ku Klux Klan activity was there on the rise, and on Christmas Eve of 1951, the Moors were assassinated when a bomb was placed in their bedroom. The couple had just celebrated their 25th wedding anniversary. Thankfully, both of their daughters survived the attack. Harry T. Moore. You can help New Life Evangelistic Center break the cycle of homelessness by providing monies for Metrolink tickets. 
It's absolutely essential at this time. New Life Evangelistic Center is providing hundreds of Metrolink tickets every week to homeless people so they can get to their jobs, so they can get to their doctor appointments, so they can find a place to sleep at nights. Will you please share your much-needed tax-deductible gift with the New Life Evangelistic Center? Every $30 you provide enables New Life to get 10 of the Metrolink tickets. And you can send those gifts now to the New Life Evangelistic Center at P.O. Box 473, St. Louis, Missouri, that's 63166. And welcome back, Joyce M. Roberts. Dr. Joyce M. Roberts is my guest. He's the candidate for St. Louis Public Schools elected board. And Dr. Roberts, once again, how can we reach you and how can we help you? I can be reached at www.joycemroberts.com. I, I may be reached directly at 314-974-8090. And also, I hope that you will join me for the fundraiser on October the 5th at The Element, 1419 Carroll Street. Okay. And uh, you have a Facebook page, too. So tell us how to reach that and the website. Uh, the Facebook page mm -hmm. is, is, is connected to the www.joycemroberts.com. Okay. So when you come there, you'll be connected to the Facebook page as well. Mm -hmm. Are you looking for volunteers, donations, helping anyone? I am absolutely looking for donations. Mm -hmm. There's a donate button on the website. I just put up a post this morning asking for volunteers. I hope that everyone is reading um, that information and responding accordingly. Mm -hmm. I can only do this if you stand with me. Okay. Why, again, for those who may have joined us late, do you want to run for the elected board? I am running because I am experienced. I've worked at every level of the organization, from teacher all the way through central office. I know what governance is. I know the right questions to ask, and I know how to hold people uh, accountable. Mm -hmm. You know, um, over the years I've known you, you've been so supportive of so many different things. But education, like I said earlier, has always been your focus. Why don't you retire? Why don't you just say, well, I've done my share and I'm going to give up now? Uh, I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. When I was doing my dissertation, mm -hmm. it's called Transformational Leadership, an Urban, uh, an urban Leader Story. Okay. I um, read a very, very uh, good book, and it was really life-altering. It was called... Um, Passion and Risk in the, tw the third chapter, Passion and Risk in the 25 Years Past 50, and it's by uh, Sarah Lawrence Lightfoot. Okay. Once you read that, you understand that you only transition from one portion of your life to, a ne to the next portion and to the next portion. Mm -hmm. And it's up to you to stay mobile and engaged and keep your mind healthy so you can stay out the nursing home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. this is wonderful. But it's a good read and I encourage everyone to take a minute to read the third chapter. Okay, once again, how can we reach you? I may be reached directly at 314-974-8090 and please go to www.joycemroberts.com www.joycemroberts.com. Now, there are going to be several people on, on the uh, ballot for the elected school board. So what, what position are you in? I, there are seven people running for two positions, mm -hmm. and I am number two on the ballot, okay. Joyce M. Roberts. That's going to be November the 6th, 2018. And once again, briefly, we don't have that much time left, but how important is it that people get out to vote? This is extremely important. As you know, government is in a good portion of our lives, and the elected school board has an opportunity to be the voice of the people. And so we need to get out and exercise our right to be in control of our destiny. Dr. Joyce and Roberts, thank you so much for coming back on the show again. It's always this. my pleasure. Oh, uh, so much. Good, always good night. Nice. Good to see you, too. And I want to thank you for purchasing the Bernie Hayes Show Cup. <laughs> and I want to That's challenge the, the community to donate and get a Bernie Hayes Cup of their own. You're very kind. And I want to say thank you for reviewing us today and continue to support New Life Evangelistic Center. I'm Bernie Hayes. Have a great day.